Good night, Bernard. It was nice meeting you. Uh, actually, it's Bernie. I, I didn't want to correct you earlier, but I'm a Bernie, not a Bernard. It's sort of like the opposite of you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not. You're a Rebecca, not a Becky. I mean, Be Becky's a fine name, you know, maybe for like your kid's sister or the coach of a soccer team, but you're definitely the Rebecca type. And that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I certainly think so. Bernie, would you like to come in for a glass of wine? Seriously? Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Have you ever been married? <laughs> Do I look like I've ever been married before? Well, I don't know. I thought you looked like a Bernard. Uh, <laughs> engaged a long time ago. Who broke it off? We were both way too young, so. So she did. <laughs> she wasn't the right one. And you? I've been asked more than once, but I always said no. What? It's never the right guy. <laughs> I mean, I've been modeling since I was 15 years old. And when you live in that world, you get all sorts of attention from all sorts of different men. And it's all because of how you look. It's a tough world when you're on your own. I bet. So, uh, <clears throat> I have a bit of a confession to make. Okay. <laughs> I'm one of those men who think that, uh, you are a very beautiful woman. You're probably the most beautiful woman I've ever met. And certainly the hottest woman who's ever been on a date with me before. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't she the one? And don't give me that you were too young BS. All right. It was only like our junior year of college. She already had it all planned. that The two of us were going to go to the same law school and be on law review together. We were super competitive with everything. She always said that rivalry would make us better lawyers and more accomplished in our careers or some shit. I don't know. What's wrong with that? Aren't you a successful lawyer now? Sure. Yeah, my career's going pretty great. I'm on track to make partner a year early at one of the biggest law firms in the city, so pretty good. I just, I don't want a rival for a wife. I just, I want someone who I can cherish and love. Someone who's always gonna be by my side and on my side. Someone I can take care of and who's gonna take good care of me. Someone who's gonna give me beautiful children and be a wonderful mother. Someone who- Two girled with, together? Exactly. Okie dokie. Yeah. Okay. I'll be here. Did you ever think 
you will get something like this. <laughs> no, not in a million years. I think you're gonna really enjoy our dating phase. There's gonna be a lot of sex involved. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I can rise to the occasion. More than you can ever imagine. I got a pretty good imagination. I like to be adventurous and experiment. I got an A in science. Ooh. I pretty much like to do anything everywhere and use my entire body. There's no off limits. Not that. My ring. Oh, the, the ring? Mm -hmm. Two carrots? Five carrots? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna really enjoy planning the wedding. I want you to be very involved. I've always wanted emerald green bridesmaids dresses. Although, since our wedding will be in June, maybe a more pastel color would be more appropriate. What do you think? I don't care. You don't care about our wedding? No, 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 I, I, no, no, put it up, put it up, put it up, I, I do, what, what do you and your mother think would be best? That's what I meant to say. Soft pink, to match the roses. The church will be covered in roses. You and your mother both have wonderful taste. <laughs> <laughs> One second, though. We should probably discuss the prenup. Do we really need one of those? I guess we don't need one. <laughs> I want to get pregnant right after the wedding so we can still be young for our kids and grandkids. We're going to have to do it every single day. Several times a day, especially when I'm ovulating. We need to maximize every chance we get. And then after we get married, no more blowjobs. What? Except for maybe on your birthday. But then those will stop. No more blowjobs. Do you think I'll get real fat when I'm pregnant? Definitely. <sighs> no, sweetheart. I think you'll be more beautiful than ever. I can already see your healthy glow. Our first will be a girl, Elizabeth. And I'll always be very close to her. Then a boy, Bernie Jr. He and I will have a difficult relationship. He can be so disrespectful. Yeah, but... Little boys, they always want their independence, you know? It'll be more complicated than that. But I'll always cherish my relationship with Elizabeth. <laughs> You're gonna be a great mother. Always dressing the kids up in cute little matching outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Play groups, reading in bed at night. Mm -hmm. School plays. And what about PTA presidents? <laughs> coaching Little League, yeah. but I want you to coach Elizabeth too, and be home at least three nights a week for dinner. It's important for the children, especially for little girls, to have a strong male role model. Don't worry, I'll keep her off the pole. Slumber parties, first crushes, boyfriends, SAT classes, college applications. It all goes by so fast. And then she'll leave me. But you still have Bernie Jr. at home. You'll have to deal with Bernie Jr. This will be a very difficult period for me to get through. I'll be seeing someone. A shrink? A man. As in an affair. You're gonna have an affair? You work so much. Elizabeth abandoned me for college and Bernie Jr. barely recognizes my existence anymore. And I'm bored with life. So do you love him? Not the first few. But then I thought I found someone. You drink too much. You always have. I hate it when you lose control. You know, I always loved you. You always love the way I look. Bye. 
I want the divorce to be civil. I want half of everything, plus the house. And Bernie Jr. lives with you. You'll think you got half, but you won't know about the Cayman Island accounts or the secret trust. I always thought there should be more. Well, your lawyer wasn't very good. Well, you're the one who recommended her. I never told you about my affair. Blonde paralegal with the big tits? Yeah. I knew it. You bastard. I'm sorry. We have delightful grandchildren, don't we? They are the loves of my life. Even Bernie Jr. gave me three perfect angels. I'm so glad the two of you finally reconciled. You and I haven't talked for years. I always wondered why the grandchildren called you Blade. <laughs> I dated a lot after the divorce. They were all younger. Much younger. You always did have a lot of energy. <laughs> well, I mean, the last thing you want is your grandkids to meet the boyfriend and then they blurt out something like, Grandma or Mima or some crap like that. It's just a bit of a turn off. So you never remarried? Boyfriends kept getting younger. I kept getting older. And I had my painting, yoga, traveling. I was happy. I always wondered, though. About what? Your second wife. What's she your college sweetheart? The one you were engaged to? Maggie? Yeah. We ended up being very happy together. Were you upset that I didn't go to your funeral? It just didn't seem like the right thing to do. I'm not sure I even noticed, though. <laughs> I'm so sorry you never got to meet our great grandkids. They're so precious. I'm so lucky they come to see me so often. Do they call you Blade? I'm great grandma. It's getting late. I got an early deposition in the morning. I had a nice time tonight, Bernie. Call me.